Okay, so when you type in uh, Area 51, uh, Google Maps takes you out here in the middle of nowhere, and, you, and you're still looking at it and you're going, hang on a minute, that's not right, something's not right here, so uh, what you're going to do is you've got to zoom out, you've got to zoom out a bit, and then it's actually over, it's very tricky, it's actually over to the, uh, well, let's see, it's like the one o'clock position, two o'clock position, let's have a look, so it's right over here, and I'll just centre it, and that is actually Area 51 there, what they call Area 51 in Groom Lake here. Now, uh, interesting little little uh, side bit here is uh, Google's got a bit of a sense of humour. So if you grab the if you grab the little little uh, guy down here for Street View, uh, it actually actually turns into an alien spaceship. Can you see me there? I'm <laughs> I'm cruising along. I'm going to uh, I'm going to land on Groom Lake now. Here we go. Ah. So it doesn't actually work. The little spaceman doesn't work. The spaceship. So let, let's have a little bit. Let's have a little bit of a hunt around because I was very interested in this. Now, what you'll see is they've got some planes here. So they're not hiding. Not hiding all the all the planes. If there's aliens, they're going to be in the hangars. I'm guessing. But um, these look like I was having a look at these just before I made a video, and. These just look like normal, uh, like Boeing planes. But there's this one over here. Let's have a look. One here. It looks a bit unusual. So I'll change the 3D view. So if you press Control, uh, you can turn into 3D view, and you can actually move around like this. And I was trying to get as zoomed in as much as I can. But this this plane here. Let's see if we can get there. Looks like it's got like a a sweeping back tail there. It's a bit hard to see. Let's see if we can see what we can do here. I can see it. at that angle. You can see it. Sort of see it there. It's just an unusual, unusual looking plane. That one. Anyone that's more familiar with planes than me, I did the aircraft identification when I was in the Air Force Cadets, but uh, it was many, many years ago, about 30 years ago. I can't quite identify that one. It's the one on one out on that's lonesome there. Now the other interesting thing they've got a, they've got some Sikorskis. It looks like Blackhawks. That's pretty cool. You can zoom it around in 3D. And let's have a look. Let's go back to 2D view. Sometimes it's it's good to go in 2D and zoom out, have a look around, see where you want to go, and get your bearings again. Yeah, let's, let's get my bearings again because I've flipped it. I've actually flipped it. So let's let's flip it back to where it was. There we go. So about that orientation is probably the best. Put it back on t 2D view. So this this is the. Uh, I'll show you that this is a Groom Lake here, and you can and you sort of think what's oh, this cross in the middle? And now they are actually when you zoom in, lo and behold, lo and behold, they're like. It's almost like Salt Lake. See, they've got they've got writing on them here, and I'll just flip it around, and it says zero nine left and right. I'm thinking because it's got zero nine L zero nine R, and what's this right in the middle here too? In the middle of it looks like oh, it's, it's just crazy. Some of the things like nothing makes sense. Nothing makes sense here. This looks like a this looks like a is that, would that be a hanger? I'm not too sure what I'm looking at here. Guys, what are you, what are you thinking? What is that? That looks like a road. Is that a road or a runway? Another runway. So let, let's see if it's a... See, that looks like... To me, that looks like things are growing on it. So it looks like... A, like a, and it looks all cracked and everything through here. I'm thinking that's an abandoned runway. Let's see if there's any markings on it. Let's go to the end of it. And zoom in. Is there any markings on there? There's little crosses on there. I don't know whether Google Maps is doing that or whether that is physically little crosses on there. But you can sort of see there, because it looks all cracked, this, this part through here, looks like there's things growing there. I, I'd say that's an abandoned, like maybe a 1950s runway or something. It's all so strange, isn't it? That's why it's so fascinating about Area 51. The more you look into it, 
the stranger it looks. So let's just follow the runway more. See some of these crosses look like so that's so that's the nut, that's the cross hatch of the uh, let's zoom out again. So that's the second that's the second runway on Groom Lake it looks like. So zero three that one says 03L and 03R, so left and right, I'm thinking. Let's see what it says on the other side. Let's go have a look on here. Move them across. Let's zoom out a bit, probably easier. And then on the other side, of course, it will have different identifiers. So 20, I'm thinking it says 21R and 21L. 21L, 21R. It's pretty freaky, so it looks like a couple of. It's almost like they want them to be hidden. Why? Why would they? Why would they mark them like that? It's just very strange. The whole thing is so strange. It is not like a normal runway. It's like. It's just. It's just so strange. And what's all these markings through here as well? It looks like tracks. Going through. Tracks everywhere. Little tracks everywhere. Alright, so let's have a look here. Because it's very interesting. You see, every time you look at the map, you see something different. Like there are, there are access roads everywhere on this site. A little, looks like a little car running there. You've got little tracks through here. There's tracks everywhere. But I'll just show you what I, the little things that interested me when I was looking at this, the whole site. And we'll go from there. Let's flip this around. So what interested me here, what brought, got my attention was this strange, it's almost like a alien type looking thing here, isn't it? Well, it's a very unusual shape. It's like a little circular, circular roads there, and then in the middle there's nothing. So I don't know whether it's going to be a future site. I'm going to put a hanger there or something. Like it's just, it just seems so strange. Was that just some sort of taxiing? You know, I mean, it just doesn't. To me, it doesn't sort of jump out to have a uh, a defined function. And you've got this this bit here on the top. It's just so strange. So let's let's zip onto 3D view. And this actually looks. If you look at this here. Actually, I'd say almost looks like a crater. It almost looks like a crater there. Maybe, maybe they did some underground testing there. But uh, so I've hit the control. Uh, sometimes 3D won't it won't show you the actual crater. So you zip around. But sometimes it's helpful. Sometimes it's helpful to get a better idea of what's going on. See so the mountains there. Now the other other thing I found interesting, let's go back to 2D view. And zoom out. Let's get my bearings again. Zip this around. Okay, main runway through there. So that's that's another runway. These things are interesting on the these little semicircle type things there. That just seems so strange too. It looks like runway 14. Let's zip that around. Runway 14 there. And these little things there. Let's say there's little positions where you, the aircraft dock, I guess. Hmm. But yeah, the more you the more you look, the more you see. Like is that so that's not pixelation, that's actual square bits. So, and it's just nothing makes sense. So nothing makes sense, like some sort of tiling there. And you've got this big hanger here, that looks fairly new. That looks fairly new, that hanger here. Hit control again, let's see if we can see anything. All this, all this looks fairly operational, and you'll see here there's actually cars and everything all parked 
Oh, oh, let's get my thing back. Uh, get back to 2D. Sometimes it's good to go to 2D. Hit the 2D button here. So this this looks like it's all work, all uh, operational. Lots of workers come here. A couple of hangers there. And you got all this along here as well. Maybe research buildings. You'd assume there'd be things underground as well. There's lots of car parks there. Lots of car parks. This looks like a. This looks like I saw this the other day. This looks like like a baseball, baseball field. Let's go. Let's go three D here. Is that a baseball field? <laughs> like a recreational center, maybe uh, tennis courts here as well. So are people actually living full time on the base? They must be. And so you got um, this looks like a like a black stealthy type aircraft here too. Let's see if we can zoom in. That's as far as we can go. It looks like. See that was. Like a stealthy aircraft there. It uh, so like, that's definitely radar here. So it comes in handy these the the uh, shadows here, so you can sort of see how big things are as well. Because it's over here on the left. This like tower right in the middle of the screen here. I haven't figured out what that is. It looks really really tall. So would that be the main control tower? This looks. It looks really tall, but you know, when you look on 3D view, it's weird because the shadows, if you look at the shadows, it's pointing that way. So, looks like a water tank down there on the bottom. It's just so much going on here, so much to take in. What else did I find? Like over here, this car's in the middle of nowhere. Like, why would they be parked there? Why don't they just just park on one side? So it's in the middle of the day, sort of thing. So it's not like it's not like they can't find car parks. There's one interesting thing. Let's just zoom out a fraction. Uh, so it's like the main. The main facility is here, it looks like, right in the middle. There seems to be a lot going on there. This is a massive hangar here. You'd think, you'd think if there was any sort of alien research being done, you'd, it'd probably be underground somewhere. You'd, you'd think that it builds things underground as well. I know what this black bit is here. Not too sure what that is. So much, so many unanswered questions here. And that looks like military stuff there. But yeah, a lot of, a lot of these planes look commercial. Well, this one looks like it's taxiing in. Yeah, there's tiny, is that a little runway there as well? Not too sure what that would be. You know, it's sort of like a rail gun type thing happening there. I wish this was true 3D. It actually shows the mountains in 3D. Oh, I won't do that because it takes a while to render. Oops, let's go back. Let's go 2D. I think I stuffed up there. Where are we? Where are we? Where are we? What did I just do? Oh no. Oh no. What do we do? I've lost Area 51. That's right. We can. We can do a search again, I can grab it straight away again. Come on. Pick it up. Where are you? Uh, it's rendering through again. Uh, what did I just do just then? That's cool, we'll find it. It's interesting looking at the at the, uh, the big view as well. Uh, it says this page is using significant memory. Which I noticed that last time. Oh, here we go. There we go. We'll find him again. Zoom out, it's up here, up over here, up over here. Now the interesting thing is, I'll show you something very interesting. I notice there's a 
thing called there's a big crater here so area 51 is over here on the uh, top right a thing called Sedan Sedan Crater oh, I clicked on this and uh, you can actually you can actually go there you can get really close to area 51 this is this is a detonation crater from from like um, a thermonuclear it says thermonuclear uh, let's see if I can zoom in on that, what it says, thermonuclear, 70% fusion, 30% fission, 104 kilotons. So this was a uh, nuclear test facility, you see people, people there on the, uh, on the platform, <laughs> so you can actually go and drive out there and check it out. And you're pretty close to Area 51. Uh, let's have a look how far that is from Area 51. Let's look at this. So that's one kilometer is about that much. So one, I'd say you're one, two, three, four, five. It's probably only about 20 kilometers from Area 51, right there. So all these people are saying that you, you can only get about 30, 30 miles from Area 51, which is about 50 kilometers. Uh, from that scale there, it looks like you can get a lot closer. But um, what I found interesting here is look how many craters there are. So that's a big sedan crater. But check out all these craters here. Apparently they did, uh, I was reading up on it, they did like 900 tests. This is like the Nevada test range. Nuclear testing. I didn't even realize that uh, when I was researching Area 51. So you can see here these craters and... Uh, See splitting the earth through here. Let's go 3D. So you can see in there. There's, so that's the main one, the sedan one up there. And look at all these craters through here. It is such a fascinating area to look at. There's access roads everywhere. Uh, sorry about the render time. Uh, that's an interesting one. What's that there? Very, 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 very interesting site. The whole area here. And there's so much. Every time I look at it, you see something else. There's something going on here. Not too sure what that is. Let's click on it and see what it says. What does it say? Nothing. <laughs> but I like the... Uh, Little Google man, you click on that and drag him, and he's a he's a little UFO. There he goes, flying along, flying. <laughs> so Google, the Google engineers have got a bit of a sense of humour. The software engineers in Google. So that's a massive crater over here. Check these out. These will be all nuclear tests. Some above ground, some below ground. Did not realise Area 51. Also encompass the uh, nuclear test sites. You can see here a massive, massive crater there too. So it's 20 meters. So it's probably about 100 meters across, maybe. And it's full on. So you, you can see for yourself if you go on the Google Maps here. Now let's get go, Let's head back to. Oh, hang on. Just saw something just then caught my what is that that is a very tall tower there too a tall tower in the middle of nowhere let's click on it sometimes loading doesn't say what it is you can see there by the um, length of the shadow that's pretty tall yeah, it's pretty tall what else we got here not too sure what this is so that's near the test range so you can see the impact crater here or the uh, detonation crater something's going on there too not too sure what that would be <laughs> very very interesting area now let's get back to 2D so that is so that's that area there I'm zooming out and then if you move across over to the east here and then so it's northeast from there is area 51 right there. Let's have a let's have another look. What else we can find here? I think I've covered a lot of what I wanted to cover. 
but yeah, it's just it's just figuring out. They've got there's the two Sikorsky Blackhawks, I reckon. There, yeah, it's got the H for the helis. Got the main radar there. Oh, back there. It's definitely definitely some stuff going on here, but what they're doing, who knows? Of course, it's you know, it's just new Air Force research. So that's what the high security is about. I'm, I'm, I'm not convinced. I'm not convinced about aliens. That's for sure. <laughs> I think uh, intelligent life is that rare that we're probably alone in the universe. That's my theory. But the SETI program. They had the SETI program searching for alien life. Didn't really find anything. Uh, but we're talking vast distances. Even if uh, something was like you know, 10 million light years away. We're not going to find anything. That's, I'm fascinated by. I'm fascinated by this. <laughs> that seriously looks like a uh, a baseball baseball stadium in Area 51. What do you guys think? That, to me, I'll, I'll center it. That, to me, let's get the let's get the alien uh, spacecraft to land on it. Let's land. There you go. Land in the middle of the diamond there. <laughs> See, there must be there must be people. Why would you go to all that trouble if there wasn't people actually living on the base? There's got to be people living actually on the base. Now this here, I would suggest that looks like electricity generation. Maybe let's have a look. What's these things? Are they I'm just looking at the shadows? Oh. What have we got there? So that looks like a tennis court over in this area too. It's just so, it's, the whole place is fascinating. It doesn't not look like a normal Air, Air Force base, how you would imagine it, and ones that I've seen. I've never seen a uh, baseball diamond in a normal Air Force base. Although, a few good men they did have it, didn't they? There's definitely people living on the base, for sure. Let's see what else we can spot. It's, it's very, it's very cool the three D view, isn't it? Yell out, yell out at me. Go, John. Have a look over there. That's interesting. What's that bit there? Uh, well, I wish I could wish I could zoom in more. But yeah, if it, I'll show you I'll show you something interesting as well. Let's, uh, let's uh, go back to two D view. So uh, zip this around to correct orientation. Back to three D two D view. Zoom out. So you've got Area 51 there, the base in Groom Lake. Now we've got. Uh, let's see, it's going to show it now. So you've got Sudan Crater there. And you've actually got hotels. If you go across Bald Mountain here, and see it's here, 375, that's actually. This is where this is where everyone, I guess, tries to enter Area 51. Where the main, I'm fascinated to know where the main gate is, where you see the no trespassing that sort of thing. So let's have a look if we can use my little little man. So you can you can do that. You can actually go street view on there. The black mailbox. Let's have a look. <laughs> Alien male, here we go. <laughs> the, hey, that's interesting. What, what it says the skunk box? <laughs> What's this blowing? Oh, What's going on here? Is this saying tourists are done? Is this official? A drop box? No idea what this is. So I was having target practice here on the stop sign. 
Uh, okay, fair enough. Oh, the alien. I've heard of that, the little alien. So it's right next to that. Okay. Wish I could. Uh, oh, here we go. So let's let's do that. This looks like the street view. Here we go. So area 51 is over that way. If I've got it orientated correctly, let's have a quick look. Uh, expand that. Oh, what did it do just then? It's doing crazy things on me. Very, very fascinating area. Yeah, I think the government's got control of my computer now. <laughs> Zoom out again. Ah, what's it doing? What are you doing? It's going from satellite view to street view here. Where's the alien? Uh, uh, let's go back here. Let's shut this down. Shut street view down. Okay, black mailbox. Yes, yes. I saw. Oh. Mm, Badger Mountain. Old Mountain there. Now I'm getting disorientated here. Oh yeah. Here we go. I know where I am now. So Rachel, that's the sign. Yeah. So zoom in there. So that's actually, that's about as close as you can get to Area 51 on the main road. So you got a little alien, so it's like a little, it's got um, like food and everything. So if you visit Area 51, you probably go check out this joint. I've seen this before, definitely. Definitely seen photos of this. And you got a little food and drink and uh, let's hit the menu, uh, food. Food and drink. There we go. Uh, I think they've got like the beer, <laughs> the alien amber ale. So that's definitely worth going to. So you can get really close. You can actually get very close to Area 51. So if we zoom out there, you can actually see how close you are to Area 51. Area 51 is over there. So Along Bald Mountain, move move a the line there. Actually, I'll use my little spacecraft. I'll show you. Let's, let's just zoom in. We'll go f full screen. So you can see how close you are to Area 51 from there. Uh, so two kilometres is that far. So two, four. I would say it's maybe 30 kilometres. So from there, have a little spacecraft and land over here. <laughs> Chalk Mountain. Have they got photos of that? Two photos of Chalk Mountain. So that that's that looks like it's within the, the Area 51 base. Bald Mountain. Have they got photos of that? Oh yeah, they've got little photos there. So that's actually. I wonder if you can go up there. It's like a weather station or something up here. I sort of zoomed. I zoomed into this. The other night, I was trying to figure out what what is that in the middle? Is that like seismic? Is that a seismic detector? I'm not too sure. Anyone know what that is? Right in the middle of this station. Well, I'm not too sure. It's definitely running off power. And you got some sort of communication aerial there. Trucks, a couple of trucks. This is on the top of Bald Mountain. Bald Mountain Fire Lookout, okay. Is that a permanent residence keeper here? Well, that's interesting, that looks like uh, from a stove. Looks like someone lives. Yeah, there you go, stairs to the underground there. Somebody lives here for sure. Let's see if I can. Hmm, very interesting. So that is actually. In relation to Area 51, where's that? 
uh, old mountain there. So that could that could be a security lookout. Well, what's here? Let's have a look here. That's sort of caught my. There's lots of trails everywhere. Check out how many trails there are too. Lots of trails. This is all on the Area 51 site. I'm thinking. Well, the easiest way to find out is you just grab your grab your little guy and you look for when it turns blue and none of this is turning blue which indicates we can't land and do a street view so this looks like a uh, river some sort of river bed you can see here that to me looks like some sort of river bed Here's the geologist in the group. Tell me, tell me what I'm seeing here. Actually, we'll go to 3D view. That'll tell me what we're seeing. Okay, here we go. What is this over here? Is that river? Just the patterns to me. Uh, I'm not too sure what that is. But yeah, fascinating, fascinating area. Let's see if we can spot anything. I'm usually pretty good at spotting man-made things. Uh, it's definitely access roads through here. What's this thing here? That's uh, spotted that. So that looks like maybe a security post there as well. It'd be it'd be littered everywhere on Area 51. All these security posts. So that's yeah. So that's over here. Yeah, that'd be a security post overlooking area fifty one, which is right there. So that's right there. Hmm. Okay guys. Uh oh. Don't look here. That looks like a river bed through here. Like uh what's we got here? Badger Mountain. Any photos on that? Clicking on it? Nothing. Nothing at Badger Mountain. <laughs> Can you spot anything? I can't see anything unusual there. Fascinating, as I said, fascinating sight. So, yeah, you got Area 51 there. Flanked by Badger Mountain, you got Bald Mountain there. And some sort of security post, I'd say, overlooking the whole site. Keep zooming in on that section for some reason. But yeah, we we found a site there, didn't we? Found a site there, and then over to the south west, we have the uh, atomic atomic test facility. Oh, what's this here? There we go. What is that? Not too sure what that is either. Is there any man made structures there? Oh, yeah. There we go. There's lots of little things scattered everywhere. So, guys, just have a hunt around. There's something else that's man made over here. Have a bit of a hunt around yourself. See what, see what you can find, too. It's like. The building or a foundation. Very, very interesting. Very, very interesting place. Extremely interesting. So there's Area 51 right there. And right over here, I was showing you all the uh, nuclear test site. Okay, guys, I'll leave it there. I'll leave it there. Oh, it just looks like a runway there, too. Is it? No. Nope. Not too sure what that is there. I think there was I think there was a, a, a there was something here I spotted which was actually a building, but I think it's one of those buildings that they use when they're testing nuclear explosions. So there we go. Okay, guys, I'm going to leave it there because it's getting way too long. It's over 30 minutes. So <laughs> I'll catch you next time. Have a have a good hunt. Leave your comments below what you found as well that I've missed. 
And uh, if you got a link to another video that you've done, just oh, here we go. It's the one Apple Apple II House. That's the one Apple II House wood. I reckon that was yeah. This thing here. That looks like one of those nuclear test explosion type houses that they, that they use. You know, it looks like the destruction from the nuclear test. Okay, that's, that's a good that's a good place to stop because that was the last thing I wanted to show you guys was uh, that thing on site. Okay, so I'll leave it there. Have fun looking. Leave your comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you next time, guys. Happy hunting. Cheers.